Enrich, the frequent flyer program of Malaysia Airlines, rewarded six of its loyal members with an unforgettable trip to see Melbourne from a different angle. They were treated to a bespoke journey designed especially for them to experience true winter luxury down under. Hello, foodies! Melbourne has one of the world's most exciting food scenes. Whether you're looking for a piping hot bowl of pho or hunting down Melbourne's legendary brunches and burgers, you won't be disappointed because nearly every street has hidden gems you won't want to miss. But I'm here today for something a little eccentric. Lume is a restaurant that doesn't only serve food. This space used to be a ballet club, so it is not surprising that theatrics and experimentation are also part of this food experience. So the creative process comes in a lot of different forms. Um, most of the time it comes from the produce. We have amazing produce in Victoria. I draw a lot of inspiration from like music and, and different artists and things outside hospitality as well. I've been to Japan a few, a few different times. I mean, we use a lot of Japanese techniques as well. Um, I guess it's kind of a, you know, what we do here is like a nice mix of different influences of like different places that I've traveled. If you want to shop for food and eat a whole bunch of it at the same time, then you have to head to the South Melbourne market. The South Melbourne Market is Melbourne's oldest market at 150 years old and is where all the locals come to shop. When people come to South Melbourne Market, we recommend they spend some time looking around the market. There really is something for everyone. That can range from some amazing seafood, uh, some fresh fruit and vegetables, some locally designed fashion and also homewares. So, Really take your time and, and enjoy what the market has to offer. We have some very great seafood in there. Yeah, Melbourne has certainly become a gastronomic capital of the world. And I think we were very amazed on the food that was served. Australian wine regions like the Yarra, Barossa and Hunter Valleys are huge attractions, but there are more than 60 wine regions in the country. The Great Western is one of them. Here you can explore the hand-dug 1860s cellars. The entire winery is breathtaking. It has got uh, all the tools still very well preserved and exhibited at the winery itself. And I think that is a very good effort. And which brings us to the places that we never thought that we'd buy going ourselves. It's absolutely amazing. For a fine dining experience that is heavily influenced by seasonal produce, you have to come to Wiccan's at the Royal Mail Hotel. Everything served at Wiccan's is grown here at the Royal Mail's kitchen garden. Vegetables such as beetroot, Brussels sprouts, and herbs like rosemary are grown organically and harvested by the chefs themselves. Uh, and we work with our kitchen gardeners sort of planting all the different vegetables we want throughout the year and that supplies uh, everything we use in the restaurant here. Wiccan is one of Australia's uh, best restaurants and what's unique is that uh, the, uh, what's offered to us was homegrown in their own garden. Wiccan's yeah. topped off my trip. Um, <laughs> dinner was fantastic, farm to table. Yep. I think everyone enjoyed it. Australia's culinary culture runs the gamut, from the traditional to the creative, from dramatic dining to freshly shucked oysters at the market. <laughs>